There are so many great martial arts movies on Netflix. Always with a watchful eye on foreign films, Netflix has acquired many of the most talked about titles, fresh off the boat from Asia which remains the cutting edge of the genre. Yet, no genre is better than Netflix's exceptional roster of martial arts movies from all over the world. So without further ado, here are the 10 best Netflix original martial arts movies to stream on Netflix right now. But before starting, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to stay updated with more exciting content. Number 1. Carter, 2022 2022's Carter certainly wasn't one of the year's best movies, especially considering how many great movies were released last year. However, it is still an impressive and action-packed martial arts epic. The story of Carter revolves around the agent of the same name who wakes up in a motel room with no recollection of his identity or his past. The only thing he knows is the instructions given by a voice that takes him on a dangerous mission to rescue a girl. If he doesn't follow through with the orders then there's only death awaiting this agent. Carter is not an action movie you'll be forgetting about anytime soon. Number 2, The Foreigner, 2017. The Foreigner is Jackie Chan's first true role in a serious dramatic thriller that doesn't harbor many fight scenes. The film tells the story of humble London businessman Kwan, whose long-buried past erupts in a revenge-fueled vendetta when the only person left for him to love, his teenage daughter is taken from him in a senseless act of politically motivated terrorism. In his relentless search for the identity of the terrorists, Kwan is forced into a cat-and-mouse conflict with a British government official. That said, the action scenes in the movie are breathtaking, as a veteran Chan kicks ass against hordes of terrorists responsible for his daughter's death. Number 3, Revenger, 2018. After the unjust murder of his family, a detective purposely gets himself sent to a prison island. The prison is just a facade, however, and the island is instead used to stage fights to the death between the inmates, and the detective believes he will find his revenge there. The premise of sending the most dangerous criminals to a remote island together to serve out their sentences instantly makes for an awesome action movie. Top that with some of the best and fastest swordplay in movie history, as well as a smattering of other equally brutal and exhilarating martial arts fight scenes, and you have a martial arts movie with the full package. Revenger is far from a perfect movie, but the movie's choreography and fast-paced action add an undeniable layer of fun. Number 4, Fistful of Vengeance, 2022. As a continuation of the hit martial arts Netflix series, Wu Assassins, Fistful of Vengeance offers more thrilling action scenes and sees the return of some fan-favorite characters and stars from the show. Iko Weiss and Luz Tan return to the franchise, and newcomers like Jason Tobin and Pearl Fusi complete this martial arts-filled sequel. Fistful of Vengeance continues from where Wu Assassins ended and sees Kai Jean and friends drawn back into the fighting world to avenge the death of a loved one. For those unaware, Wu Assassins follows an unassuming San Francisco chef who gains supernatural powers and becomes the Wu Assassin to save the world. Those looking for fast-paced action should definitely check out this movie. Number 5, Fury, 2019. Fury is a martial arts film that focuses on High Form, an ex-gangster who has left her criminal days behind, lying low in the countryside while trying to raise and support her only daughter. When thugs kidnap her child, High returns to the violence of her past, going to any lengths to bring her family home. Netflix's Fury powerfully illustrates the rule of never messing with a martial arts trained mother, delivering gripping storytelling and thrilling action. Hai Fuong, played by Vietnamese actress No Tan Van, is one of the most relentless characters in action movie history. While the story is pretty by the numbers, it's the action, performances, and satisfying finale that make Fury one of the best martial arts movies on the streaming service. Number 6. The Big Four, 2022. The Big Four is an action-packed Indonesian movie about four retired assassins who team up once again to settle some scores. Netflix's The Big Four is a ton of fun. The energy is over the top, the humor always lands, and the unconventional group of assassins makes for some hilarious and entertaining dynamics. Of course, the action is fantastic, 
given that this was Timo Jejanto's second martial arts film for Netflix, gaining him the praise of being one of the best martial arts movie directors of today. The Big Four is a movie you have to check out, regardless of whether you're a martial arts fan or not. Number 7, Furies, 2023. Furies is a Vietnamese action thriller movie that premiered on March 2023 on Netflix. It is the prequel to the 2019 movie Fury. The movie follows the three women who get together to take down a child trafficking syndicate that has been terrorizing women in the streets of 90s Saigon. Furies is a pretty tough watch, given its content of prostitution, sexual assault, and underage sex. However, when the main characters begin taking their vengeance, your eyes will be glued to the screen. The action is beautifully shot and edited to perfection. While it's not as tight, intriguing, nor as epic as the 2019 martial arts flick, Furies is still a brutal, stylish, and captivating action movie. Number 8. Kill Soon, 2023. As with many international movies on streaming services, Kill Bok Soon is a martial arts movie that has criminally fallen under the radar. John Doo Yun punches, kicks, and stabs her way through the lead role as the titular character, Kill Bok Soon. She's a crack assassin who's never missed a target, but as a single mother, she finds herself looking over her shoulder more and more afraid she'll lose the one thing that she loves above all else. Unfortunately, that fear comes to fruition as the organization she works for turns on her, and she has to kill or be killed. Kill Bok Soon has some of the best fight choreography, camera work, and stylized action in the game and is a fantastic watch with a lot of heart. Number 9. Maria, 2019 2019's Maria is another one of Netflix's underappreciated martial arts movies. The movie boasts some explosive and brutal action, with some stellar performances from the entire cast, as well as a compelling and familiar story of revenge. Maria is a Black Rose cartel killer who betrays her colleagues by failing to complete her assigned assignment. She is not thanked for this and her execution is demanded. However, Maria fakes her own death and starts a new life. When the cartel discovers she's still alive, they do everything they can to silence Maria. Maria is simply flawless and hasn't gotten the recognition or praise it deserved for being one of the best action movies of the past decade. Number 10, The Night Comes For Us, 2018. There's no doubt that The Night Comes For Us is Netflix's best martial arts movie. The film is a bloody martial arts extravaganza, sporting a cast with two of the best modern action stars, Iko Weiss and Joe Taslam. Joe Taslam leads the ensemble as Ido, an agent for the Southeast Asian Triad, also known as the Six Seas, who betrays the crime syndicate in order to protect a young girl. Ido opts to head back to his hometown of Jakarta where a group of old associates help him protect the girl from a slew of invading triad enforcers including Iko Uwais as Arian. The story is pretty impressive, however, it's the action, like many movies on this list, that cements The Night Comes For Us as one of Netflix's best movies. The Night Comes For Us is a martial arts epic not to be missed. If you like a video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more content like this don't forget to subscribe to the channel.